Today I'm going to give a brief demonstration of the new menu I've created for Thesis 2 called the BYOB FlexNav Responsive Menu. Now this menu adds both a package and a box to your Thesis 2 site and takes a horizontal navigation menu and turns it into a vertical navigation menu on a smaller screen. And so we're going to come over here and take a look at this site. This is the site that we're going to uh, change the menu for. Well, this is the standard thesis menu that, that I've converted to being responsive inside of this uh, thesis responsive skin modification. But, um, uh, and it works just fine, except that uh, if you have drop down menu elements, at that point it begins to fail. And this is what it looks like in Responsinator, and, and it looks fine here until you have drop-down elements. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a menu that automatically, that takes this menu like this and turns it into a stacking menu, and then expands and contracts for uh, the sub-menu items. Now this is really only good for menus with for, with one level of drop down menu. So if you've got multiple levels of drop downs, then you should probably plan on using the simple responsive menu instead. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and download this here. This is the Flex Nav Responsive Menu for Thesis 2 page, and we've got both a box and a package to download. So we'll go ahead and right click on the box and save link as, and we'll go ahead and save that and then the package has the same name as the box does except I put the word style after it so it's BYOB flex nav responsive menu and BYOB flex nav responsive menu style okay. saved both of those or downloaded both of those now we come on over to our site and we'll come over to thesis and we start off here in boxes and select boxes and upload a box and then choose the file and then we want to upload the box of course not the package which in this case is the FlexNav responsive menu zip so we open that up add the box when it's completed we'll get the little message the box was successfully installed we'll go ahead and close that and we need to go down and find the box put a check box in it check mark in the box beside it and hit save boxes that activates the box and we're going to do exactly the same thing for packages so we come over here and we select packages and we upload a package choose the file again picking the style version so BYOB flex nav responsive menu style dot zip open that add the package the package was successfully installed, so we close the window, put a check mark there, hit save package, and now both the box and the package have been installed. Now if we come back over to our skin editor now, you'll see proof of that it's been installed. In the HTML editor, scroll down here to add boxes, here's the BYOB flex nav responsive menu as a box choice for you. And if we come over to the CSS editor and select packages, the BYOB Flex Nav Responsive Menu Style is also available. Now we have to install both of those and we have to edit both of those in order for this menu to work. But So the first thing we're going to do is install the HTML box. So essentially what we do is we add the box. So go down and select it. And I'm going to call it Main Menu. Select Add Box, and with that box created, I'm going to shift drag it up into place here in the container, and I'm going to shift drag the regular nav menu out of it. Now, if you open it up, you can see it says um, uh, Menu to Display, Main Menu, and or I could pick a different menu. I'm going to pick the Main Menu here, and then we're going to choose a different class here. And I'm going to call that flex menu. I want to make sure that, that this name doesn't conflict with any other, you know, regular menu name. So you don't want to leave it just at menu. We go ahead and close that. 
and save the template. And then if we look at the site now, you can see the, uh, the menu is now in this unordered list. And that's because we haven't created a, um, we haven't created a style for it yet. So that's what we're going to do next. Now we'll come on over here to CSS and we're going to select a package to add and it'll be the BYOB flex nav responsive menu style. We'll add that package. And the selector is the flex menu. I'm going to say main menu. And I'm going to say main menu. And at this point, we don't actually have to set anything because a whole bunch of defaults will kick in if we don't change any of these options. So we'll start there. Go ahead and hit save. Come down to this and add the, the reference to the list. And then save the CSS. Now here's what this looks like. This has um, uh, this right out off the bat stretches the menu all the way across and and then those parts of the menu that have drop downs have a little arrow off on the right hand side and then when you hover over them they actually drop down now the way this is intended to work is is that you're supposed to set how many different menu items you have here and I didn't do that here but we'll go ahead and do that I've got one two three four five top level menu items so we'll come over here to um, the main menu package and under options instead of a number of top level menu items we're going to pick five instead of six because that's how many menu items we have. It defaults to six. And then if we come look at this again, now you can see these are all stretched out across. What this is intended to do is to stretch the menu across the width of the page and it makes each menu item the same width. Okay, now if we let it go at that, we can save the CSS. I'm going to come over here and refresh the CSS in the Responsinator. This is what it looks like. We've got uh, a menu button up here, and then when we open it up, those menus items with a with additional um, drop-down elements under them have the arrow below them. And if you click on that, they show up. And if you click again, they go away. So that's what that's how this thing works. Now you can easily change the colors and the fonts and that sort of stuff here in the thesis skin editor um, you could just come on over here to this main menu style and come over and adjust options now um, the responsive header uh, menu header is that button that you see in the responsinator this thing right here that's the responsive header and so the colors and style that that affect this are in that section so, for example, we could make it bright red, and then we could make the color gray, and then save that. And refresh this, and now the the heading changes from black to red. Right. And all the rest of the colors still are the same. The accent color is this color right here. So it's the color that um, sits on the edge uh, of those menu items that have uh, drop downs. And so we can come over here and change say the accent color and we could make the accent color you know instead of dark we could make it lighter color and you know we could change the font settings and make them Arial and 16 point and we could hit save and if we come over and take a look at this 
now the the drop down has this light color here right and if we come over and actually save the CSS and come over the responsinator and refresh it now you see these colors changed but none of the other colors changed although we did end up with Ariel here instead of Georgia so there are a number of other settings that you can set here uh, in a similar fashion to the to the standard horizontal drop down menu you can in fact um, set colors text color and background colors and that kind of stuff for links for hovered links and for current links and you can adjust the menu padding and you can set uh, some of the border colors um, and in the case of a menu item that is too tall so you end up having to have more than one level of text in that menu item you can uh, always specify a height for the menu items so that they all end up being the same height even if even though one is just um, one level uh, even though one of them is two levels tall you can still set it so that they're all the same height by using this and of course you can set the sub menu width too so the sub menu width is now out to 200 right so that's the kind of control you have over this um, I hope you find this uh, useful and I hope it makes developing your site easier.